Hey everyone, I'm Nato King and it's time for more folklore. Last time we played through Chapter 3 as Keats and didn't really learn all that much. So let's see how it all looked from Ellen's perspective. Now when we last left her, Harriet had told her she wouldn't give her the information about what happened 17 years ago until she got it from Dr. Lester first hand. So I presume the first thing we need to do is go ask him what happened 17 years ago. Now you might notice she's dressed a little differently this time. As it happens, the Battlefield Cloak doesn't have an alternate skin for me to use during the grinding video, so I thought I'd take this chapter to show one of Ellen's normal costumes. And since they only appear in Doolin, it doesn't make sense to wear it for less than the whole chapter. Is it maybe that when O'Connell talks to Ellen, he doesn't buy into the whole Netherworld supernatural stuff, but when he talks to Keats, he does? That's the only explanation I can think of for his whole back and forth thing. So, Keats isn't the only one seeing shadows. Well then why did you say you had information about 17 years ago that you were just withholding? Oh, it's not really important. So, something was killing people 17 years ago, and nobody ever did anything about it? Yeah, something's probably gonna happen.
Oh, that sounds like a good thing to do. Let's go visit the kind and caring Dr. Lester. Well, he's touchy. Yeah, unfortunately, we're actually not going to get anything out of him. All right, finally, answers.
Now, I think it's kind of interesting that at this point, Ellen doesn't even know who Hervé is. She doesn't realize that he's Suzette's dead brother. I don't think anybody's ever told her about that yet. But at least we now know where Ellen was when the hag appeared and killed Dr. Lester. She was in the netherworld. Now, there's an alibi you can't beat. And there's nothing else we can do in here. Can't talk to the deer head again, even if we wanted to. So once I find the door, we can get out and go take a look at that ash tree. Although it kind of dumps us right here in the middle of the forest. I kind of wonder, can I even get into a fight at this point? You silly Dr. Lester. You're not supposed to be in the netherworld. The netherworld is just for dead people. That joke probably would have been funnier if I'd 
on Ellen's part first, but that's not the way the thread voted. So anyway, we've got a treasure to dig up. There's an ash tree near this hut, and it happens to be over here. And armed with those, we head back to town and learn the bad news. Which I think Ellen already has reason to suspect. Well, as it happens, we've got two things that could work as mementos, but I do want to go around and talk to everyone about the murder before moving on. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense she wouldn't want to talk too much. I think the pubmaster usually has the most to say at times like this. Alright, so I was wrong. He has been buried already. Although... I'm not sure that there was a funeral, unless that's what Ellen walked in on. Yep, we still just keep upsetting Charlotte. Although, to be fair, it's not really us, it's whoever it is that's killing all these people.
Yep, she's just as forthcoming as ever. And Suzette knew about the hag in advance. Unfortunately, that's not really enough information to tell us who she is. And what about you? Are you into the supernatural yet? Nope, he still thinks the killer is someone who can be found by searching. I really do not understand that man. But anyway, I think we've done enough for now. Let's head to nighttime and go see what these mementos have to tell us. Now I get the funny feeling that I could head to the bridge house and talk to the half-lives there. But, as usual, I'll save that for the quest video and just head straight to the hinge. Now, we've got two new items to use here, and from Keats's side, we already know what's going to happen. She doesn't hear any voice, so the medical records didn't do anything. But with Cecilia's picture... She doesn't hear any voice, and that means it's working. What is this place? It's familiar, but so melancholy.
See, I think it's pretty neat that the costume I've got her wearing is the one that she's wearing in that cutscene, even though it looks pre-rendered. It's clearly not. But of course, we'll leave exploring the undersea city and meeting them until next time.